Okay, the last step. So if you were uh, comfortable, happy with your mix of, of different sound elements, and your master level beta was adjusted so that you are going very close to 0 dB maximum output, not going beyond that. There is a plugin which allows you to accurately maximize the output level, the output level. Now, I have a lot more plugins that you have, but the default plugin within Pro Tools for this purpose is called Maxim. Maxim. Here I can specify the ceiling. So if I play back now, watch the master fader. And if I reduce the ceiling all the way down, you can see it's limited. It's preventing the audio from going beyond a certain level. So what I'll do is type in minus 0, minus 0.3 dB. The threshold is a setting which, when brought down, lower and lower, will make this plugin work. Now this is a very sophisticated plugin which is applying audio compression and limiting and at the same time raising the overall output level. So it's reducing the dynamics between loud and soft and overall raising the level up. So that will give us a perceived increase in loudness. So with no threshold Bring the threshold down. The threshold will make this plugin work when it senses audio level. So you can hear the perceived loudness increasing. And the output level is not going beyond minus 0 0.3. Now you can see the amount of gain reduction appearing here. And that's really loud. Now you're starting to hear some digital artifact. Okay, so this is performing many tasks, audio compression, audio limiting, and then raising the overall output level. So you don't want to apply too much, otherwise you will lose the dynamics of your content, meaning the difference between loud and soft. So if I bypass this, so you can see the increase in perceived loudness is a lot. Okay, so that would be my mix is done. If I was happy with that balance, the output level is optimized. It will not go beyond minus 0 0.3. And I'm ready to export out, which is the final step or bounce within Pro Tools. It's called bouncing your content.